Hello everybody, my name is Rugi and let's talk about Tequila. I know the second anniversary event is near but your star didn't tell us the details about upcoming celebration stream yet. So I'll just assume the next events will be Vigilo, Gabriel Event Rerun and then Dosolus Holiday. Speaking of Dosolus Holiday, I covered an episode of Operator Showcase about Chang the Holang Day. Unlike Chang the Holang Day, Tequila is a welfare operator where you can recruit him through the event. Nice. Tequila is voiced by Shimazaki Nobunaga. If you are familiar with his voice, Shimazaki san is notable for voicing various characters in anime, such as Iska Shido in the LA series. And his recent role is Kaedahara Kazuha in Gaijin Impact. Yes, the character who looks like Hung. With the introduction of Tequila, a new guard subclass is being introduced, which is called a Liberator. A Liberator is similar as a Phalanx caster like Carnelian. A Liberator does not attack nor block any enemies until their skill is active. When their skill is inactive, a Liberator stacks up their attack power up to 200% more after 40 seconds. Actually, I calculated Tequila's attack stat when his skill is inactive and, turns out, his attack stat is increased linearly by 5% per second. His talent, which is translated to waiting for opportunity, is about him inflicting arts damage to enemies despite not attacking. Or you could say it's like Hoshiguma's second skill, except the repeated damage is reduced and Tequila cannot attack due to its trait. Skill 1, which is translated to decisive action. His attacks speed increase and deal more physical damage. Skill 2 which is translated to Elstery Blade Work. His attack range increases and deal damages to two enemies or three under charge effect. Now, let's talk about his pros and cons. It's hard to jump into conclusions right away since he is the first liberator being introduced. Skill-wise, he is a, basically a nuker and he deals burst damages once his attack is increased to a certain level. His second skill makes him a mini version of Silver Esther skill, although Tequila deals with less enemies within a smaller attack area. Also, his DP cost is pretty low. For a max pot E2 Tequila, his DP is just 10, which is about the same as Brawler's. Which means, when you have insufficient DPs to deploy operators like Silver Ash and Eafala, Tequila is a go. Tequila's HP is also noteworthy, as at ED0 level 1, his HP is much higher than the duty squads like Playbringer and Skadi. Although, his HP stat is surpassed once they reach beyond ED2 level 45 altogether, Tequila still has the ability to survive in certain stages, thanks to his resistance stat as well. How about the flaws? Well, as described from the key strat, he could not block nor attack any enemies if his skills is inactive. He will still need some low DP operators to prevent from leaking. Another thing is about the, his damage. Although it sounds like promising that he can get up to extra 200% damage before activating his skills, that also means that you need to wait patiently until you activate his skills. Well, these are my honest opinions about Tequila, the Liberator God. He's a free 5 star operator, so you should prioritize getting him to port 6. And you can team it up with various operators before considering another liberator if they will arrive too. To me, I pair out Tequila with overload guards like Silver Edge and Horns so they can cover each other, especially when Tequila's skill is not active. So, what do you think about Tequila? And is the trade balance for a liberator guard? Feel free to comment on your opinions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.